Hi guys, welcome back. This will be the second part of the video posted the other day. Uh, make King Kony ready for Loxon. And in this video I will show you uh, how can you download this uh, script and how it's uh, working. Uh, okay, for start, uh, as you can see the King Kony board uh, has an uh, ESP32 and uh, with uh, this board uh, we can use uh, either Artenio or in uh, my case I'm using the platform uh, IO uh, and we can uh, use the same uh, way to program like in uh, Arduino uh, this is very simple once you install the uh, um, Windows uh, Video Studio code. Uh, you have to install the uh, extension Platform IO. Uh, to take the code, I upload the code on uh, GitHub. If you go to the GitHub, uh, Kalin uh, George, uh, you will be able to see it here. And uh, you just click on it and download the, the zip. I upload even the libraries and uh, in this case you just have to uh, download, uh, unzip the folder and then go to the uh, Visual Studio, open a folder, choose the folder and select it. And you will have all the uh, libraries all the files uh, in it and what you will have to do just press uh, upload and that's it we don't you don't have to do anything if you want to use the code as it is you can make any modifications very easy and uh, i will try to be fast as possible uh, first of all i'm not a programmer this is what well, i know a little bit of uh, uh, coding uh, I'm learning on the go and 100% uh, someone else can find a better way to do it but uh, this is my way how I managed to make it work uh, for example once I upload the script as you can see on the, on the board um, I will pop up the board on the screen uh, it is connected by um, USB and you just have to do upload and it's looking for the serial connection yeah and already done the upload once it's done uh, on the serial you will be able to see the um, uh, IP address from your Wi-Fi Okay, IP address is 05, if I'm going to have it open already, this is the one. As you can see, if I turn on the relay, it comes on easy without any problem. Uh, you, you have to uh, edit if you want the uh, index uh, file, in, uh, in my case. Uh, let, me, let me open again okay this one here okay as you can see I have this header of the page I can modify it okay uh, for example on on the board King Kony yeah and if I save this okay save upload the file once it's done I will refresh the page and nothing will uh, happen you won't be able to see anything change here because once you press uh, upload 
you will have just the main goes uh, to the ESP32. It's connected. Yeah, that's it. Uh, now we can refresh the page and it's still the same. To be able to upload the index file, which is in uh, data uh, folder, you have to go click on the uh, extension and upload file system image. I have an error because I have the monitor on and it can't uh, connect. Okay, at the beginning I had that error and I I was struggling to make it uh, work and I, I didn't know why it's not working. Okay, for the moment it takes a bit longer to connect, but um, I don't know flash uh, or to detect flash four megabytes. Yeah, it's good. That's it. If I refresh now, I will have the changes as in here. All good. Okay, that's the way how you access and you can control the um, uh, the board with uh, this script. To be able to use it for Luxon, you just need to change in here relays and you will have uh, relay one the status is zero relay two three four if i go back turn on relay three for example yeah and i'm going back to the relay relays you will be able to see relay three status one and when you uh, setting up the um, uh, ESP32 with uh, King Kony on um, Luxon, you will have to use uh, all the instructions from my previous video, and that one is uh, let me say I already forgot which one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah. I think it's on this one. Yeah, exactly. You follow the instructions from this uh, video and you will be able to uh, add all the relays on uh, uh, Luxon. It's quite easy. Uh, you have only four relays. Easy to do it. And what else I wanted to show you it's um, the same script i will change uh, swap over the board the king Kony, and i made on the breadboard a normal development uh, uh, esp32 board and then now i will have to upload the same uh, uh, code as you can see it all compatible this is the problem on uh, this board I need to uh, press this button to make it upload it doesn't uh, doesn't upload if you don't press the boot button on the uh, King Kony board you don't have to do anything just plug and play I love that okay once it's done we will go back to the serial serial and we find out the IP address so last time it was uh, 102 yeah it's the same we go and refresh the page and if I turn on you will see the LED comes on one by one yeah off 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 and the same way you go uh, slash relays and you will be able to see the status of the relay now the, all of them are off if we go and turn on relay 2 and 4 go back I should uh, add a button here to go to the locks on uh, settings I will do it 
and you can use any ESP32 um, I'll say, um, uh, extension for Luxon for example and uh, okay we can add a button here next to home um, if we go to index I have the home button here what I wanted to do just copy add commands for example um, list Relay status for Luxon, and I have the colors in here. Uh, we can make it green, and that's the uh, one button one. And we will upload this file now. Ah, monitor. Always forget. Upload the file. And I have to press that button again. Press and hold, I think it's working. And release. Yep, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. And we need to change here. Release. The most important part. Save again. should work now yeah it's working waiting for a success transfer come on yeah uh, already refresh here done relay status uh, for locks on click on that and we have the relay status easy I I hope this is useful for you guys. Uh, we will ha I will have on the description uh, the link um, of the code, and every time I'm doing some uh, update, that will uh, go up on uh, this uh, link. Every any any update that we do uh, will be. Don't forget to change your Wi-Fi uh, credentials. That's my Wi-Fi in here. Well, you have to change yours and uh, yeah that's it I hope uh, this will be helpful and uh, please don't forget this is uh, this script is coming from me which uh, we are, I'm not a programmer but it's working enjoy thank you for watching bye bye